Thank you for watching this video. Please remember like and subscribe. And join my Patreon if you want to help to support the channels. The link is always in the description. And thank you once again for choosing to watch this video. To all my like, all my fans, and my haters, enjoy. If you're not somebody who pays attention to a lot of this shit, if you just think that, um, if you just think that um, there's no value in looking at what the right wing say, you will miss a lot of this shit. And the craziest thing is, it's just, this is the reason why we need streamers. This is the reason why we need um, people who would go into the fucking lion's den and fight these motherfuckers. This is one of the reasons why. And we get shit like this. So, this is Mr. Obvious. I haven't done a video with him in a long time. But I just felt like I needed to actually talk about this shit. And, um... I pulled up this, and more than half of Americans believe the U.S. democracy faces extinction. New poll says Biden is over. This is the shit that we have to address. Because when we have a lot of people dealing with, no, nah, democracy is over, and let me just bend the rules to make sure my side wins, this is when we come up with a lot of fucking problems. And so, this is one of the things I want to tackle, and I know Mr. Obvious is a fucking idiot. He's one of those clown world bullshit guys. And I, if you go back on my video, I've, um, on my channel, I have several different videos when he's talking about this bullshit. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go. And it's over for Joe Biden. Come on, man. Hey, guys, gals, and pals, Mr. Obvious here. And today, we're going to talk about how- I hate the fucking way he talks. Oh my god, not only do I hate the stupid shit that he says, but I hate the fucking way he talks. And then is like, uh, alright, let's go. A majority of Americans believe that democracy in the US is dead and at risk of extinction. A shocking new poll shows only 54% of Americans believe that Joe Biden won the presidential election. Folks, th wait, where's, where's the source? The Daily Mail, of course. It's the fucking Daily Mail. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, this is what we're going to actually do. This is what we're going to actually do. Um and this is from January. This is from this is like recently. Um I did not spell belief right. I still didn't spell it right. Now, this is from The Guardian. Stop. Now, 40%. This is the 40% that Trump always had. Literally. This is 40%. The poll released on the eve of the first anniversary of the attack of the Capitol up for a pro-Trump mob found that 55% of those surveys believe that... Um, believe that Joe Biden won the election. Now, who did they poll? About half of Republicans. This is a problem. Fuckers like this don't know how to read fucking polls. They don't. They only look at the headlines. And I guarantee you, this motherfucker is not going to read the fucking full article. And if he does, it's the Daily Fucking Mail. Does he make mention that it's from the Daily Mail? Here, let's look at his articles. Nope. No citation. 
no citation. It's just, oh, this is presented as facts. But let's hear this stupid shit that he says. This is a 10% drop from April. In other words, we're getting to the point where less than half of all Americans actually believe that Joe Biden won the election. My friends, we need to talk about this and more. But before we do, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I just want to say, um, Tanya, it's, it's the worst it's ever been. Right now, I'm... All right, so we always skip over the other people's advertising. Okay, we always say that you should always like, share, and subscribe my videos. Of course, of course, over this bullshit. But anyway, let's go. Absolutely exhausted, but I gotta get back to making content. There's a lot of things I want to talk about, and uh, that's what we're here to do today. So hopefully by the time you hear this video, I've had a good night's rest. But let's get right to it, folks. To the story. In another poll, a majority of Americans say that Biden is not focusing enough on inflation. According to a dire new poll that shows 76% of voters who don't like the president will dislike him even more if he tries to pass Build Back Better. So people blame Joe... Again, did you read the fucking article? As a matter of fact, if you look at the fucking percentages of what people actually like, so... Build back better. Um, approval. Rating. Not in West Virginia. Because fuck Joe Manchin. Now, mind you. America's like with the Build Back Better plan. They, they're lukewarm on the bill itself. This is literally saying that they like the plan. They just don't like the title of the build. And this was December the 17th. So when you actually look at it. Here. Um, what was it? Americans found more often to be. Um, in items that been out of stock and source. 70%. That's not what we're looking for. Um, this is the Biden approval. Obviously. It's high once you get elected, but it goes down. And generic ballot. This is generic ballot. Um, they don't have it, the percentages broken down. And I'm kind of disappointed with that. The tax credit, which is, has a high approval. Why don't they have that? Okay. 53% of registered voters support extending the child tax credit for one year while only 33 percent oppose following the passage of the bill morning consult found 40 47 percent of registered support supported the bill and 40 percent opposed it like and that's what i'm talking about it's like democrats have a real bad problem with marketing like they let people get away with just shitting on your plans but and you get dumb fucks like this that'll that just fill that vacuum, fill that void of where people should actually be saying more shit. The Democrats should come out and say Republicans want us to go back to a higher um, child poverty. Republicans don't want you to have better roads going back and forth to work. Republicans don't want you to have health care, but they don't. They do this manly, panty, measly bullshit of just like, oh, well, we're marginally different because we don't want to upset our donors. And you lead to people like this. But let's continue. Joe Biden for everything going wrong with America right now. OK, and these are recent polls that have come out just just within the last couple days. So, so let's talk about this. Here the story says, a majority of Americans say in a stunning new poll that U.S. democracy is at risk of extinction. The assessment comes in a new poll near the anniversary of President Joe Biden's first year in office, just days after the anniversary of the Capitol riot. So, according... Yes! People are going to be fearful of democracy when they saw a fucking crowd try to storm the fucking Capitol. That is like... It's... It, it, oh my god you are so fucking stupid if you don't realize that shit people feared look i feared democracy was ending when the fact that you had a president get on and say i need you to find evidence for my opponent 
in order to make my election go better. I fear democracy when they literally, a president was literally talking about shooting people at the border. I fear for a democracy. It has nothing to do with voter fraud. What's the voter fraud? Well, they changed the rules because it was a pandemic and people, more people were allowed to vote when they shouldn't have. Well, I don't like the fact that they voted for somebody different. Yeah. Yeah. When you ask any Republican, where was the voter fraud? Well, people voted with, I don't think they should have voted. According to this poll, only 26% of people said that U.S. democracy is secured for future generations. 23% said they were not. I, I know it's you, X. I know. I know. What's up, man? How, how you been? Not sure. But more importantly, 51% of people said that democracy in the United States was in danger of extinction. Now, what exactly did they mean by this? Depends on who you ask. If you ask conservatives, American democracy is in danger because Democrats are in the White House and they're trying to uh, game the system. Let's just put it that way. You have How are they trying to game the system? Oh my God. How are they trying to game the system? By making government work? Like, this is the shit that kids pisses me off. Well, we're going to do shit for people. And so, because we do shit for people, we should get more votes. Like, how does that game the system? How is that game in the system? Because more people like what we do. So, yeah, fuck them people. All right, let's go. Joe Biden putting out these speeches, talking about how it's horrible that Republicans in red states are instituting voting laws. You know, stuff like voter ID, checking signatures, banning mail-in ballots, and ma basically making sure that elections are fair. The Democrats don't want this. They don't want these measures passed. They don't want voter ID, and they don't want mail-in voting to be banned. Because they I... I... <sighs> He would have an argument if we didn't know that the voter ID shit was clearly racist. We know that the shit is clearly meant to target black and brown people. We know that the, the motherfuckers, even the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court says like, Okay, we was going to rule on this one, but here's the evidence of the architect of the plan who says we was going to target black folks. Well, no, it's just, it was just because reasons. Like, I, oh my God. Yes, these are the same people that were, what do you mean? I, 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 I need a, an ID for a gun? How dare you, sir? Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let's go. This is how Democrats win. Did you know that in Mexico, mail-in voting is banned? That's because mail-in voting is the easiest to defraud. Fraudulent, uh, fraudulent voting is... What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, that sounds like a lie. Let's see. In Mexico, since 2006, federal election, postal voting for people living abroad has been permitted. A request is been made by the national, like national election, electoral institute, which sends the ballots outside the country. Wow, we have determined that is a lie. Wow. It's like a Google search. <laughs> like, that's like, the fuck? Like, wait, what? That's just like, a Google search has actually determined that is a lie. Oh, my God. And not only that, you know, in other countries, voting days are fucking holidays. They close down everything. It's like, yeah, go vote. Wow. We have determined that is a lie. Okay, okay. Is much easier with mail in voting as opposed to voting in person but that's not no that's that's a lie that, that that's a lie actually mail in voting is the most secure form of voting our last election 
Trump's motherfucking election board that he had said, nah, this is the most secure election that we had. You know, you know what's the, the, the easiest way of voter fraud that you can actually do? Here, like, here, here. The easiest way of voter fraud is gerrymandering, you dumb fuck! Gerrymandering. It is not the people who are voting that are rigging the game. It's the people who are the votes are for. They are literally deciding who their voters should actually be. That is what's causing most of the issues. The shit about, oh, Congress is this, Congress is that. It's because shit is gerrymandered. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, exactly. And, um, Stop gerrymandering and um take money out of politics. All right, let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Not the point. The point here is Joe Biden is trying to claim that Republicans are a threat to democracy, despite the fact that Democrats themselves are a direct threat to democracy. All Republicans are trying to do is secure the elections, make sure that they're fair. Democrats don't. By fair, they mean that they fucking secure the election so no Democrat would actually win except for an overwhelming majority. Like we have now. You have to have an overwhelming majority to be a Democrat in a lot of cases in order to do that. Look at what happened in Wisconsin. The registered Democrats out-registered the Republicans. And the Democrats got more, more votes. Hold on, let's, let's pull up there. Um, what was it? Wisconsin. State and results. Hold on. Did, did, what was it? Where... The um, hold on. Was it the 2020 ballots? Oh my God! I, I and it's a data point, and I saw it. Um, what was it? Oh, this is the presidential voting. Where was it? And I hate to pull up one video to reference another, but um, hold on. Let me see if I can actually find it. Um, give me a second. If I can actually find it. Here, here it goes. And I want to actually bring this up. Hamstrung the public sector unions. He focused on private sector unions, signing a right to work bill that aimed to dramatically reduce union membership. Within a few years, Walker had cut Wisconsin's unionization rate nearly in half in Wisconsin. Shortly after taking office, he approved a new electoral map of the state that divided districts to ensure large majorities for Republicans in every legislative election. Democratic voters were divided into a few districts where they would win overwhelmingly, and then a larger number of districts where they'd always lose. It was one of the most effective gerrymanders in American political history. In 2018, for instance, Democrats won a majority of the statewide vote for state assembly, 53% compared to 45% for Republicans. But Republicans still won about two-thirds of the state assembly seats. In order to have gained even a small majority in 2018, Democrats would have needed to win by about 20 points statewide, 65% of the vote. And this is the real issue when it comes to who's rigging the elections. 
and Republicans and Democrats do it. It just so happens that Republicans do the shit more. I live in Illinois. You better believe that Democrats do this shit. But Republicans do it more. How, it, X, you're in Utah. I, and I understand Utah is a red, red state. But where are all the Democratic votes really centered around? But let's continue. Don't want this. They want less election integrity. They want less election security. Of course, the Democrats are going to say that no, it's actually the Republicans who threaten democracy because they want to do these laws, which means that less people will vote and their voices will not be heard. This is the argument from the mainstream left. I do not buy it. I do not believe it. There's no reason to oppose voter ID. The only reason you would want to oppose it is because you want to cheat. But here's the beauty of it, folks, because Americans are losing faith in the system. The poll showed the majority that believe that Biden was a legitimate winner of the election has narrowed to just 54% amid Trump's persistent attacks. The number was 64% in April. Boom. There you yeah, because people are stupid. Like, that's, let's, just, let's just say people are stupid. And it, 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 okay, people are stupid. Like, and most of those are Republicans. Go right here. It's over for Biden. 54% of Americans believe that Biden is the legitimate winner of the election. This is 10% down, 10% down from April. So let me ask you a question. What happens by the midterms? Will Biden's uh, <laughs> legitimacy rating be even lower? Will it be below 54%? Below 50%? What happens when only 49% of Americans believe that Joe Biden is the legitimate winner of the election? In my opinion, that means that Joe Biden... So, this is the shit that I didn't like about the whole, like, um... Hillary Clinton actually being a real president and shit like that. This is shit that I didn't like about it. Now, for those of you all who are old enough to remember the 2000 election... Yeah, Bush Bush wasn't, you know, he wasn't voted in. He had a lot of help from a lot of different places. What happened with Hillary Clinton was very different. It was Hillary Clinton's fault that she didn't win the presidency. She didn't step foot inside of Michigan because she thought, well, I'm just anointed. Now, were there headwinds against, like, other headwinds? Like, you know, during the election, it was... um. It was just like bad turnout and shit like that. Was it a sense of, well, she's just going to win so I don't have to go out? Yeah. But in the end, it's just like, no, she, it, the electrical college, if you want to say that, and like some people were stupid enough not to realize that people were talking about the electrical college. Yeah, if you want to say that, yeah, of course. The electrical college is a way of just maintaining a fucking power structure that needs to be done with. But like, no, like, she lost. No one said that, like, no sane person said that Trump didn't win the Electrical College. But these motherfuckers are literally saying that Joe Biden didn't win shit. That Trump got 100, 100 million votes. And it's just like, I, I, like, I don't get it. Like, I, I, I get the nuances of things that humans don't exactly know how to deal with in a lot of cases but these motherfuckers are just mad because president orange was shown to be a loser and some of it is the sunk cost fallacy that oh i backed this man why did he lose and some of it is just like they may want to um you know start stepping like goose in a way <laughs> yeah exactly exactly biden is no longer a legitimate president now never mind the election there exists something called the consent of the governed it's the idea that you need consent from the people the citizens of a country in order to be a ruler or a politician in other words if 51 percent of americans do not think that you are legitimate you do not have consent of the governed ergo you are not legitimate and i believe the answer would be to impeach joe biden now, so wait that's not what that's not how that works oh my god that's not how that works no no that's not how that works you dumb fuck oh oh 
Oh, 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 my brain hurts. And do what? Put Kamala in? Okay, okay. Some people ask, what would you impeach Joe Biden for? Well, you take your pick, baby. Consent of the governed, <laughs> the Hunter Biden line. That's, that's not a crime that he did. The, consent of, uh, that's not a crime. That is not a crime. Not tops. The fact that the answer would be to impeach Joe Biden. Now, Let's some people ask, list. what would you impeach Joe Biden for? Well, you take your pick, baby. Consent of the governed, <laughs> the Hunter Biden laptops. It's not Joe White. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's not a crime. Okay. Okay. The fact that he appears mentally incompetent. Fuck! Pot called the kettle black. That's not a crime. Take your pick. I don't care which one. So every new. We don't care. We just do it. Man. 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 Somebody call Australia because we're going to need some kangaroos for that fucking court. Like, the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Piece of data says that people have lost faith in Biden and the Democrats, just like in this story on the Daily Mail. Inflation reached a 40-year high of 7% in December alone. I'm sure you heard about that. Yet Biden wants to pass his $1.75 trillion Build Back Better bill. It's not going to fix inflation. In fact, it is going to make inflation 10 times worse. Citation needed. C citation needed. Um. Um. What they won't speak about is the reason why inflation happens is because more people have money to spend. And not saying that inflation is a good thing. I, I don't want to say that inflation is a good thing at all. And my stream just dropped. I, but, um, um, why don't we do this since we're worried about inflation? Why don't we can't go ahead and give a, a fucking, um, UBI and, um, freeze housing prices, freeze, uh, freeze, uh, prices of different shit that is causing people to like, um, spend more money. And, um, yeah, yeah. Why don't, why don't we do this shit? Why don't we do that shit? Um, because, yeah, yeah, because we know that poor people need to, like, if you're so concerned with poor people, let's, um, tax these corporations until they bring back the money that they have sitting offshore in order to make sure that their workers are investing in and, you know, the roads and all this other good shit is investing in instead of just saying, oh, no, corporations do what they want to because reasons and all that other good shit because, 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 because. I, I don't know. Let's go. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a story from Fox News. Here it says, Dramatic 14-point shift in party preference during 2021 gives the GOP the biggest lead since 1995. This according to a Gallup poll. Now, as the midterms roll around, and as Republicans have a chance of taking back the White House, this is really a big deal. Here the story says, Republicans overtook Democrats as America's preferred political party during the last quarter of 2021, with the GOP holding its largest lead in voter preferences since 1995. So the tides are turning. Quite clearly, they, they are turning. Now, okay, granted, there are some shit that's turning, and I'm not gonna, not gonna lie that the fucking Democrats have been doing a piss poor job when it comes to getting their message out, explaining their platform, and generally getting shit done. Thank you, Christian Cinema and Joe Manchin. But like, to be honest with you, Joe Biden is kind of is kind of okay with it because I would have been like Bernie Sanders and would have been in West Virginia and Arizona until those motherfuckers changed their votes long time ago. Because you're not gonna hold up my agenda, but you know reasons and shit. Although it's kind of funny that um the squad got the prohibition against um got the prohibition against um congress member stock trading oh that was fun and like yeah yeah what's what i don't hear anything jimmy door i don't i i don't hear i uh let's go let's go and it's starting to look like uh things may not be so good for the dems come the midterms and come 2024. now believe it or not there are still people out there who will question all of this and they'll say things like well things are not that bad the economy is fine 
Oh, really? Folks, take a look at this. You see this here? Empty shelves. Ooh, empty, empty shelves. I actually made a Twitter post joking about this, saying, <laughs> I said, uh, leftists be out there playing socialism simulator. Yeah. Wait, but this shit is under capitalism. Wait, this shit is under capitalism. Oh my God, this is capitalism. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, the Build Back Better plan has a past shit. This is capitalism. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not only that, it looks as if they're just reorganizing themselves. Like, you see, like, if you go all the way back here and shit, you see that there are shit on the shelves. It looks as if they're just restart, restarting the shelves. Oh, you dumb fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This shit is fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, it literally just looks as if somebody is, like, they do this in stores, you know. They actually take food down and, like, try to rearrange the stores. Like, wow. Okay. Okay. This is Joe Biden's America. Supply chain shortages are as bad as they've ever been. So, wait. Some of the things, oh, wow. Wow. There's still a pandemic. That the last guy didn't actually take serious and fucked us over. Oh, okay, okay. According to this story, 15% of food supplies are now entirely out of stock during the Omicron surge as thousands of grocery store clerks, factory workers, and drivers are being forced to quarantine. They're saying that roughly 12% of food, beverages, household cleaning products, hygiene products are gone. They are... Wow, I wonder why they're forced to quarantine. I wonder why. I I just I Wow. I I wonder fucking why. I wonder why. I Oh, we almost done. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Gone. They're not there. Meanwhile, transportation costs are skyrocketing, the price of gasoline is skyrocketing, and inflation is worse than ever. And who do we blame? Joe Biden. And that's the big issue. Everything the Democrats do seems designed to screw over the economy. Another poll says that 64% of Americans think that Biden's COVID-19 response hold is on, going guys, bad. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. You see a, a number that you don't recognize, you're like, oh shit, is this somebody that I, I'm looking for? And then, no, it's shit people talking about. Want to buy some insurance? <laughs> Let's go. Countless surveys and polls are all saying the same thing. Joe Biden is killing this nation. He is killing the economy. He sucks. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he got... Uh, a country where nothing was going wrong now if you guys don't remember right there was a economic downturn that was predicted before COVID and people were like oh shit something's gonna happen that's gonna knock us off the fucking cliff and then COVID like I, I don't get it and they making me carry water for Joe Biden and I'm gonna say it because these motherfuckers ain't gonna say it fuck Joe Biden Fuck Joe Biden for the 1992 crime bill. Fuck Joe Biden for the bankruptcy bill that allowed businesses and shit to try off, charge off any fucking thing they want, but you can't charge off your student loan. Fuck Joe Biden for that. But motherfucking double deal, though, with all the hentai, fuck Trump. I'm just saying it. Fuck him. With all the war crimes and shit that all U.S. presidents did, Trump wanted to do... Just outright, like, this motherfucker wanted to drop a fucking nuke in a hurricane. Because it'll blow it apart. And I know I'm engaging in some whataboutism, but we're not exactly looking at 
the best situation that happened with Joe Biden and him coming into the presidency and a staunch opposition to saying, no, we need him to fail because we need to get back in power. Like, let alone Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, who says during the Obama presidency, oh, we need to make him fail so we can get power again. But because reasons. But let's, let's, oh, God, this is, this is, let's go. I think people are fed up. Uh, in this Newsweek article, the world's 10 richest men all got richer during the pandemic. The 10 richest men in the world doubled their net worth from 700 billion to 1.5 trillion. They made 700 billion dollars during the COVID-19 pandemic. They call it the greatest transfer of wealth in history, where poor people like me and you, small businesses, homeowners, they're losing their jobs, they're losing their money, they're losing, they're losing. And then the rich people make 700 billion dollars. Maybe we should look at a system called socialism, where workers actually have more rights where rich fucks don't have as much control maybe we should look at that system oh wait you just shitted on communism and shit like that and we know we both know that you don't know the difference between socialism and communism but you know <laughs> reasons right let's let's go this is how it goes and you know what if Trump had been in charge, maybe things would have been different. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this? All right, Peter, can we do it? Done. I. 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 I don't know what to say. Like. Trump was in charge. And look how fucked up. If I gave myself the power.